we about to, what are we going to cross into now? Okay, now, when uh, in a situation where you need to defend yourself, most likely or pretty much 100% of the times, you won't know where the opponent is going to hit you. So a pretty safe technique that we've got is called Gansal. Gansal is like splitting your arms, splitting your forearms, and you take a short step back to buy distance and time to be able to uh, see the situation more clearly. And uh, so now uh, I'll show you the Gansal and how the Gansal technique can be applied against uh, different attacks, the same technique. Okay. okay, sounds good. If I'm in a situation where I have a person is trying to hit me, he's uh, throwing punches at me. I don't know where, I don't know how. All I know is that if I step back, I'll buy some distance. If he comes with a punch, I'll cover, right? Now, covering, uh, in this case, he punched high, but you may have noticed that I also covered low because that high punch can easily be uh, a punch that comes down low, right? If he comes high, if he comes low, Hi. So I'm using the same technique to cover, right? Or if it's someone else from Wing Chun, it could be a punch and a kick at the same time. Exactly, exactly. Now, if he throws two punches, I can just shift the horse to the footwork and do the same technique twice. So for example, he comes in, boom, boom. And again, boom, boom. Now, just say he throws a roundhouse kick followed by a punch. You can also do this technique as long as you step back and I'll just use the element that we used before, for example, that low kick that we call Sol Gurk and then finish with an arrow punch. Okay? So for example, against a round kick and punch. Oh. So here, I'm covering, defending against, stepping away. He punches, I shift the horse, turn. And then punch. So I do a one, two, three. The 